Hello friends, in this session we will be dealing with the various recoverability levels of various schedules. In the previous session I just highlighted the importance of various log records and what do we actually mean when we say a schedule is irrecoverable, how does it become an irrecoverable schedule. So everything, the basic meaning was uh, discussed in detail in the previous video. In case you have not viewed it, please view it once before viewing this one and in this session we will be particularly dealing with the details of the structures of various schedules classified on the basis of recoverability. So let's just move on and start with it. First one or if I say if I just name them once it would be a recoverable schedule that we have uh, discussed broadly in the previous session then a cascading rollback problem occurring uh, basically it occurs in this schedule but when we remove it it becomes a cascading recoverable so i would name it as cascading recoverable schedule but you may find cascading rollback schedule name in some of the textbooks and the third one is strict recoverability so a strict recoverable schedule would be the name so this is the third level of recoverability or the highest level of recoverability which is uh, maintained over here and let's now just dive into the details and see what these basically these schedules are. So the first one is an irrecoverable schedule. So if I just broadly define it, it would be when I'm trying to roll back a committed transaction. It is not possible because after the transaction commits, its log record which contains the various changes which I keep on performing into it before a commit statement uh, of that transaction so that log log record is basically removed from the database after a commit after issuing a commit transaction uh, commit command right so if i am trying to roll back a committed transaction i do not have its previous values right so i cannot undo my changes so that is why this schedule is termed as an irrecoverable schedule because i am not able to restore it to its previous state let's see its structure basically so in this schedule i have two transactions t1 t2 which are performing their actions concurrently so i have read a write a read a write a and write a over here and this commits over here let's say it commits before this write a and then when i issue a rollback command over here it basically means that I'm trying to roll back this entire thing. And if I'm trying to roll back this entire thing, I would also I would also have to roll back the changes made by this. Right? Because, because this is continuing to perform its work, but it is also performing the work on the changes made by this. Right? So I'll also have to undo the changes done by this, which now is not possible because this transaction has already commit. So the problem here was because this is particularly a transaction which has completed its work before T1 but it started after T1, right? So if I would have to remove this problem, what would I say? First of all, let's complete all the operations of T1, commit it and then start the operations of T2, right? So that would just uh, that would just be a solution and we'll see how the details vary but over here the problem was because i was able i was trying to roll back a committed transaction so that is why it perfectly matches with the definition of an irrecoverable schedule and therefore i name it as an irrecoverable schedule right so uh but it is not possible. Why? Because as to undo it, we'll also have to roll back T2, which is not possible as it is a committed transaction already discussed by me. Hey. So let's move to the next level, which is a cascading rollback or a cascadeless ro recoverable schedule. So for that, let's see what is a cascading rollback first. So it is a type of rollback. It is a type of rollback. When because of the rollback of one transaction, the rollback of many other transactions is caused. So since it is saying rollback of many other transactions is caused, that means it is possible to do the rollback, to perform the rollback. But the, then what is the problem? The problem is because of just the rollback of one transaction, I am performing the rollback of many others. Hence, it is an unnecessary wastage of various CPU resources. Right. Let's see an example. 
we have four transactions over here in this schedule t1 performs a write completes its work t2 performs its operations completes its work t3 performs its operation completes its work why i'm saying completes its work because there is no other operation being performed by this particular transaction after this and then finally t4 performs its work right and then a rollback occurs now because of this rollback in t1 i'll have to roll back all of these why because these have performed work on the work of t1 so the changes done by t1 are persisting in all of these right so i also need to undo the changes in these and because of that i'll have to undo the changes in all of these so that was the concept of cascading rollback and the solution is that the transaction which completes first key is the transaction which completes first should commit first what would happen if i would have completed its work over here i would have committed it over here now i have committed it already over here so a rollback can't occur over here right because it has successfully completed its operation and only after its commit i start the operation of t2 then consecutively t3 and then finally t4 so that was a key solution to this now let's see if uh, this thing exists now if this thing exists i would say this is a cascadeless recoverable uh, i would say it is a cascading recoverable sorry so it is a i would say it is a cascading recoverable schedule right so now by making it or converting it into a cascading recoverable schedule let's see what else have been removed from this see now over here as you could see there was a conflict pair right read but now since i have inserted a commit over here it has no longer become a dirty read because now this is reading a value from the database so by converting this above schedule into a cascading recoverable schedule i have in a way also removed the problem of write read or we say dirty read it has been removed so write read or dirty read has been removed from this so that was a big thing over here and the other problems that still persist into the schedule in the schedule are read write and write write so the shortcut for checking uh, when given in a question if you are checking for a cascading recoverable level of schedule you would just check if if there is exist any right read condition right read pair if no right read problem exist it is a cascading recoverable schedule right let's move on to the last and the final uh, level of recoverability which is a strict recoverable schedule now it says that the dependent transaction or the one which completes its work later will only start its work after the independent transaction commits so after the transaction which is starting its work in the beginning after it commits only then only t2 will start to perform read or write so this is in a way very strict recoverability condition and it says that the dependent transaction should read or write only after the commit of independent transaction so but if we convert this into this right if we maintain this recoverability then you can see that write write problem is also removed right and the right read was already removed so we have two problems removed over here at this highest level of recoverability but the problem that still persists into this is read write so read write still exists right read write still exists so i would say that a final statement I, i i would make over here is that even at the highest level of recoverability there are still some problems which exist which is this read write problem right 
so that's all for the session of classification of schedules on the basis of recoverability in case you like the video please like it in case you have any doubts please post them as comments below and please keep following the channel for great videos more great videos coming up please give us a, your feedback which is very really important to us for the development of this channel thank you friends thanks a lot